We are back at the bins. We are at the Goodwill bins. Oh, there's my baby. Where are we, baby? Bin time. It's bin time. Gloves and bin time. Follow us. We love the bins. We were making a killing on the bins, the Goodwill bins. Have you guys been there? We're gonna do a video about it. We're gonna show you everything we got. And here we go. At Goodwill bins, it's weight, everything is weighed. So it's way better than the regular Goodwill because you pay what it weighs. So here we go, we're walking into the Goodwill bins and I always get some anxiety because, you know, there's a lot of germs in there, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of things to dig through, and I start digging, digging, digging. You just gotta keep digging and moving and throwing things until you find something good. What we have noticed since going to the bins, we try to get as many hats, purses, like, you know, pocketbooks, VHS tapes, especially ones that are already sealed, and like, cassettes. We've been making a killing off of those items. I mean, we put them up and then the next day, or even that day, a few hours later, people are uh, buying them. So hats, 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 I can't trust that enough. Books also can be a tremendous flipping item. Uh, you know, while you're there, most books have the um, barcodes on the back. You can just scan it on your eBay app to see what the sold comps were. Um, you know, and then I just continue to dig. That's my job. I'm a digger. I am a archaeologist of Goodwill stuff. <laughs> That's what I consider myself. And I am walking away to the next bin. And, okay, so I picked this up, Saved by the Bell. Um, I scanned it, but it's not worth anything. So if you see that, not worth anything, put it back so you do have to know what hats are worth you know do your research this hat was worth it um you know probably paid about 50 cents for that and will potentially sell it for like 20. this is a good one a hats sell between like 20 and 50. these boots i was really excited about they were lugs brand but they were damaged i had to put them back and i'm over to the shoe bin shoes can be really great sneakers but again, you have to really dig. You know, this is not for the faint of heart, but if you have the wherewithal and the guts and the glory, <laughs> you can really find some, some really great items to flip and make a major profit, double or even triple your money uh, a lot of times. So just be patient, keep your gloves on, uh, and uh, stay safe. If you can, it's always good to give back. You can donate your shoes. A lot of the bins have that, um, you know, just to help the community. That's always a great option. So on this day, we didn't get like a ton of stuff like we usually do because we did get to the bins late. We got a couple of items. We got some hats. We got this really good pocketbook. We got this VHS tape, some cassettes that will flip and turn over really fast. We got this book by Joni Mitchell that looks really cool. Um, like I said, books can be really good and they're really cheap at the bins, so definitely don't overlook them. This directory for NASCAR, great score. What did we pay? Nine dollars and eight cents. That's awesome. That's some pretty good items today. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, like, when you come here, it's almost like they went to, like, a garage sale. So when you come <laughs> to the Goodwill bins here, or whatever bins is by you, the prices are super cheap. It's like going to a garage sale where you're almost basically averaging a dollar an item. You know, for bigger items, you, you can get like a 10 pound item for, and pay $2. So it's worth it to come to the bins. As much as it pains us, <laughs> we're doing it. 